Hello everyone, this is Dallaster and today I'm actually here at South Coast Plaza just to look at some Christmas decorations and also vlog about certain things. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, I actually have something to tell you guys which is kind of crazy but I hope you guys enjoy. Look at that, next year, this is going to be a hundred. A hundred years old next year. Check this out, there's a blush called Pink Dahlia. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not really here to buy anything, just looking around. <laughs> oh, and also eat some food too. It's really packed at the mall here, like the Brea Mall. I like the music that they have playing right now, it looks really, it sounds really nice. Reminds me of Hobby Lobby in a way. I can't believe they managed to get this Christmas tree out of these flowers. I forgot what they're called. I always forget what they're called. Oh, look at that. These ornaments are a bit odd. Wow, a lot of great stuff they have in this mall. So I saw this on Instagram and I knew I had to come here to see it. Wow, that's crazy. It's like a mini Santa village. Well, Christmas village, actually. I didn't know Marat Carey had lingerie for Victoria's Secret. Wow. Just look how beautiful this set is. Oh, that is crazy. There's a reindeer. A lot of people on this set though. I mean, it's kind of creative. It looks like cubicles. <laughs> it looks like you have to pay in order to get in here and get a picture with Santa. Oh, look at him enjoying his donut or bagel. Yeah, I might have to do it somewhere else. It's too crowded. abandoned Sears right in front of South Coast Plaza still the same as it was sealed and hardly occupied look at the cute family reindeer right here you guys could tell but that some of the stars right here are like really glittering right now and sparkly looks really nice though well everyone it's Christmas day today and I already got some presents but um I don't know I mean I feel like I got way too many today, but I ended up getting this huge bean bag, which is kind of a relief because I've been wanting one for a couple of years now because I've been having a lot of back issues. And also, I got this cute little squishmallow from one of my brothers, and I got this. Okay, it might be inappropriate, so if you're a kid, I'm sorry about the, the language right here, but it's from... Um, one of the Marvel and Avengers End Games, so I do apologize for the the bad word. Uh, I mean, my brothers know I love Captain America, <laughs> and I have these cute little chocolates here, which I've actually been craving for a couple weeks now. I just haven't had time. 
And I got some gift cards right here, Forever 21, which I don't really shop at Forever 21. But I guess maybe my brother must have thought, because I was ranting on the phone about the service in Forever 21, he must have thought I... He must have thought I, I really liked that shop or something, but I honestly don't really shop there. I just wanted to buy some boots for my mom. And then I have this gift card, Starbucks gift card, which of course, you guys know I love Starbucks. And I have this, these humongous boots. Although they're pretty glossy though, but I mean, I could use them for a rainy day, especially nowadays because it's like really been wet all month long and I got this cool little night light it's a wall charger which I need to look look at it closely it, although it does light up from what I've been told and I got this twilight shirt which I honestly haven't watched the movies in such a long time but it's crazy to think that I have this twilight shirt it, although it does look a little too big on me though but usually hot topic shirts are like really big but it's a really nice shirt. Although I heard Robert Pattinson's about to have a kid soon. Congrats, congratulations to him. This though. lovely pillow right here that says, I think it says love, right? I, I don't know. It looks like it. I've been sitting on it because my back is really sensitive to the Surprisingly, ground. Personally, I got this for Christmas, which I don't wear backpacks, but I mean, I'll try. It's actually a Disney 100 backpack that my coworker actually gave me, which from Loungefly, which are really expensive, really expensive bags, like over a hundred dollars sometimes. And of course, I got some goodies. Sorry about that, my brother's yelling. <laughs> They're watching like sports as always. And then I have some cookies, and I have a gift card to Coffee Bean, which is honestly like one of my favorite, one of my favorite places I would go if Starbucks were were to be shut down or if there was no starbucks close by i would go to co coffee bean but those are all my presents and i have more cookies in here too mostly cookies which i don't know i mean maybe i'll try it later oh sorry about that like i said i have a, f a family full of guys that love sports and i don't know i mean i'm pretty surprised with the amount of presents i got this year <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't get any Funko Pops because um, I feel like, the, you know, I've been stuck with so many Funko Pops over the years and I have some in storage right now. I put on the Yuletide in case you guys are bored. Just to make it more Christmassy. But these are all my gifts. And it's a lot of them. I'm not gonna lie. I, I feel like I kind of don't deserve them this year. I feel like I've been a little out of it this year. Yeah, you have to part in the mess a little bit. I have some stuff I'm trying to fix right now. Anyway, this bear right here was from Kmart that my parents bought me in um, 2005, actually. So almost, um, almost 20 years old now. But it's currently wet right now because I was trying to clean it yesterday. And it's still not dry. It's, I still have to clean it, though. It's pretty messy. But, as you guys could tell, this is my room. <laughs> I know it's a little cluttery right now because, um, I have some stuff that I'm, that I'm supposed to work on that are on top of the table. Just to remind myself, oh yeah, I need to get that stuff fixed. But, I just wanted to tell you guys and wish you guys a Merry Christmas and thank you guys so much for over 300 subscribers. You know, I'm... It really means a lot to me. I know uh, I haven't really had the best content or haven't really done much, but I've been doing the best that I can to make my channel as fun and exciting, but also try to make it as as beautiful as I can. But I don't know. I think I need to clean my iPod Touch camera or something. I usually use an iPod Touch because it's a lot easier for me, but I feel like my cell phone grabs better um, video quality than this one i think maybe either this one needs to get its camera cleaned or it's just very old i know you're probably thinking why do you use an ipod touch that's so weird well it's just that uh, i use it because to me it's kind of like i feel like with phones the battery dies so quickly and i feel like you know there's a lot of cell phone usage which unfortunately increases bills so that's on another reason why but i like using the ipod touch plus um 
I don't know. I feel like the well, I used to think the quality was pretty good, but unfortunately, it's been it's not doing so great. I think it's because this is a really old iPod Touch. It's like the recent one, the seventh generation. I think that's the then they stopped producing it after the seventh. I don't know why. But anyway, the reason why I wanted to make this video as well is because um I had a dream about um my aunt a couple when was it? I think it was like on a Saturday, Sunday night. I was um that night I actually the last food item I ate was a Hershey's chocolate bar. It was a big one. And I love chocolate, that's why I have an addiction with chocolate. And I, the, in the dream, um, my aunt, she said that, hey, I'm I'm alive, I'm not dead. Because my aunt unfortunately died in 2016 due to a heart problem. And in the dream, I had a dream about her saying that she faked her death in order to hide from someone. And I woke up and it, was, it wasn't real and I was kind of bummed out about it. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie to you guys, you know. I miss my aunt all the time. I mean, it's been almost 10 years that she had passed. If it wasn't for my aunt, you know, I, I wouldn't have met my my best friend. In fact, I probably would have been very sad and lonely and just friendless. You know, because um, after, before, before I met my best friend in seventh grade, I was going through a really rough time in elementary school. And unfortunately in sixth grade, I broke off my a uh, really close for the friendship with a friend of mine who ended up stabbing me in the back. But if you guys want to hear that story, comment down below. It's a really long story. But I don't know, I just wanted to make this video and just to let everyone know that I understand what you're going through, you know. The holidays can be a very tough time and, you know, a lot of families might not be having a full blast right now because of you know what's been going on with the news lately and i know what's been going on outside the news you know with um other countries and it's it's really sad you know i've been having a really hard time trying to have a good christmas because of what's been going on in other countries and i'm probably going to donate some money just to help those countries cuz you know a lot of boys and girls are just you know there's a lot of terror going on but if you guys know the news, you probably know. It's just very sad, you know. I've been, I have friends on Instagram that have been posting on their Insta stories about these clips and just sad stories about these kids. And I'm like, God, man, it's so sad. Like, how do you have a good Christmas if other countries are having it worse right now? Yeah, aside from that, I don't want to talk pol politics because I know politics is a very dangerous topic to talk about on YouTube. Well, in general. But besides that, I just wanted to close out this video and say thank you guys for following me through this journey. And thank you so much for over 300 subscribers. And, you know, I wouldn't have done this without you guys. You know, your support, your likes, your comments, every little thing that you guys do for this channel. It really gives me more strength to do more and be more active on this channel. But thank you guys so much. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all. And Merry Christmas to all your families. And, you know, hopefully your holidays are going fun right now. And if not, you know, it's going to get better. You know, don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. And don't lose, um, don't lose your happiness. You know, everyone deserves happiness. You just got to be nice to everyone. Even though some people can be jerks at times. You just got to keep trying to have faith in yourself. But I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day with my family. And thank you guys for watching this last video of the Vlogmas. I'll probably be doing some more videos before the end of the year. I do have another one coming, but I haven't worked on it because I've been wanting to finish this video first. But thank you guys for your time. Comment, like, subscribe. And take care of your mental health and everyone around you. Happy holidays and a happy new year. And to all... Of you guys and your family, may you have the best years coming. I'll see you tomorrow. And I'll do my best to take care of myself too. But I'll see you next time. Bye guys.